Hey guys, the objective of this video is to discuss the different types of similarity. So firstly, we're going to have a quick chat about modeling and um, similitude. So a model is sim simply a representation of a physical system that can be used to predict behavior of that system. So we're looking firstly at a, a prototype. Um, that's the physical system for which predictions are to be made. So for example, we might have a large dam. That would be our prototype. And if we want to be able to understand the behavior of the fluid in that dam, we then might be using a model. So we obviously want to scale it down in some way so that we can therefore perform an experiment on that dam. And that's why we use a model. But a model doesn't always have to be smaller. It could be larger. So if we had a really, really small prototype, we might like to use a larger uh, model when we observe that fluid flow. But most of the time, we're looking at a model which is smaller than our prototype. And then we need to use um, our dimensionless pi groups to therefore compare data that we get from um, our model and therefore understand how that would um, perform in our prototype and how those uh, variables would change. So similarity is essentially um, achieved between the model and the prototype, as I was saying before, by equating those pi terms um, or Alternatively, the dimensionless groups, which, which are, are the pi terms, but th there are some known dimensionless groups that we did talk about in the last video, such as the Prude number and the Reynolds number. So you can use those freely um, when it relates to a certain problem. So when the parameters or the variables um, in those known dimensionless groups match up with the variables or unknowns from your problem.